Welcome back to this very special Good Day DC. It is our grand finale to our zip trip season. It's hard to believe that the summer is coming to a close already. There have been 15 different locations that we have gone to, and we are ending it at National Harbor as we often like to do. In fact, this is the eighth zip trip that we've actually had at this location. And I had to come down here because I absolutely love the Awakening sculpture. And what I love about it is that if you're new to the area, you're like, that's super cool. I should come on out and see it. But if you've been in D.C. for a long time like me, and you've been a long time viewer of Fox 5, then you also know a little bit of the story. This was originally, it was built in 1980, and the original location was Haynes Point, where it sat for some time. It was part of a sculpture convention, and they went ahead and installed it. But then when they thought about National Harbor, a real estate developer bought the sculpture for $700,000 and said, I'm going to relocate it. That happened. He bought it in 2007. He actually relocated it in 2008. And why I know so much about it is because we actually showed that relocation going on live on our morning news program as it happened. It was a sight to behold. If you think it's something amazing to see this huge vase and arm here up close, imagine it going around the beltway and finally getting here. Well, once it got here, it was the beginning of something spectacular. That's what National Harbor is. Is it a destination location with shops, restaurants, living spaces, and a whole lot of energy that we have showcased this morning. You might at home be going, oh my gosh, where do I even begin when I go there? Well, we've done the work for you. Here are the five must stops right now. Number five, Savannah Candy Kitchen. I have to spend quite some time here debating what candy you'll head home with or just load up on all your cravings from caramel to chocolate to pralines. As a bonus, these delights are made in store. So visit this shop to truly satisfy your sweet tooth. Number four, Top Golf. Both experts looking to practice and first timers can expect to have a lot of fun here. Settle scores by playing games with your friends and family, and grab some snacks when you get hungry. This venue will fill your entertainment needs, rain or shine. Number three, Harbor Social. Shuffleboard, sliders, sports, and more are at this new bar at Gaylord National Resort. This brand new spot offers games, drinks, and food. The handcrafted items are made with a nod to the DMV region. Visit this spot on game day or anytime for a great night out in National Harbor. Number two, Potomac Paddle Club. Cruise along the waters of National Harbor at this stop. Set sail on a boat where you can paddle with your friends and join a drink or food. You can view iconic spots along the route. This spot is open seven days a week until mid-fall. Number one, the Capitol Wheel. Oh, we are high in the sky! Expect great vibes from your view above National Harbor. The gondolas are cooled in the summer and heated in the winter. After your ride, stick around the wheel with a visit to the flight deck to lounge with your friends. It's a can't miss iconic stop for any tourist or local.